Rub up your engines! Although you may not know much about it or even think about it at all, the transmission you pick for your car may be one of the biggest decisions you make. I'm gonna give you all the information so you can make a wise choice. Now cars, the name always means something. The transmission bolts to the back of the engine and it transmits the power to the wheels. Very simple idea, right? You want a transmission that's reliable and gives power the way you want it. The reason a lot of people like these automatic transmissions is because they have gears. This has six actual forward gears. Now contrast the six speed automatics to many modern cars that have what are called CVT transmissions. Now, those transmissions get a little bit better gas mileage, but they don't have actual gears. A lot of people don't like them. They say, I step on a gas, I feel like I got a four horsepower Avonrude motor and it just makes noise and slowly goes forward. There's all kinds of CVT transmissions out there now. They've been changing over the years. But at least so far, they haven't proven to be as reliable as a good regular automatic transmission. These six speed automatics with the gears, they cost more money to make than the CVTs. So of course they're gonna be going to CVTs. It's cheaper to make them and they get better gas mods rating. And for example, you can still buy a 2023 Toyota Camry, they now have eight speed automatics instead of six, but they're still made by Toyota. They saw the heck out of them because people like those automatic transmissions. They like the actual gear shifting and they like it so much that some of the modern continuously variable transmissions, they have fake shift points. So it goes, but they're under the actual gears. It's just an illusion that's put forward by the computer to make it act like it's shifting gears when in fact there's not a single gear inside the transmission. Now the new RAV4s still offer an automatic transmission. This is a six speed, the new ones are an eight speed. Those are the normal cars. If you buy a hybrid or a plug-in hybrid RAV4, those all have CVT transmissions. Well, why do they? An internal combustion gasoline engine is hooked up to an automatic transmission. The automatic transmissions can only have one input and that's the engine. The engine sends the power to the automatic transmission, which then sends it to the wheel. In this case, it's all wheel drive. So under, there's a transfer case that lets some of the power go to the back wheels, but it's still an automatic transmission with actual gears. If you have a hybrid gasoline or diesel motor going into the transmission, but you also have an electric motor that's going into the transmission. And in most systems, the only system that can accept two inputs to the transmission, and then one output to drive the car, is a CVT transmission. Toyota really started the ball rolling with the Toyota Priuses, which to this day still have a CVT transmission, as do the RAV4 hybrids and the Camry hybrids. Now, of course, I can't say anything about the lifespan of the ultra-modern CVT transmissions. They haven't been out long enough. But from my experience, the previous generation of CVTs they will not last nearly as long as an actual automatic transmission with gears. Now, like I said earlier, a lot of people don't even think about the transmission in the car. And I ask people, what kind of transmission you got? I don't know, I put it in drive and I drive the car, right? Well, that choice, is gonna bite you in the rear end if you get the wrong transmission, if you wanna keep your car for a really long time. Now, I like the older 2007 Matrix design because even though it's a four speed, it's got a dipstick. You can check the fluid. You can easily change it, drain it. Maintain them, they're gonna last longer. Change the fluid, it's a Toyota, ah, you can change it every 50, 60,000 miles. You're not gonna have any problems at all. If you've got a weaker car, you might wanna change it every 30,000 miles. But go from that 07 Toyota to this 2018 RAV4, there is no dipstick. And a lot of times, the companies say, you never need to change transmission fluid. It's lifetime fluid. Well, what does that mean? Well, I'll tell you, I couldn't really understand it myself. So I asked an engineer, Toyota, I said, what do you mean by lifetime fluid? Well, the fluid is good for the lifetime of the transmission. And I'm like, if you don't change the fluid, the lifetime of the transmission is gonna go down, it's gonna break, and then you gotta get another transmission or spend many, many, many thousands rebuilding it. And let me tell you the truth. Hardly anybody knows how to rebuild these things correctly. Over one third of the rebuilt transmissions that are done at shops, they have to be done again a second or a third time. They're very complex. Not too many guys know how to fix them right. And since the CVT transmissions are somewhat weaker than these regular automatic with gears, I'd advise changing the fluid numb every 30,000 miles. You wanna chance it with a cheaper made transmission, a poorer design? No, you wanna change it a lot. And in that case, listen to me. 
Do not mix anything. Buy the same fluid it came with, the original equipment fluid, no matter what it costs. Because when you drain a modern one like this, you only get two or three quarts of fluid out of it when you drain it. The vast majority is still inside. So you're mixing the new with the old. You want to have the same exact fluids with the same exact additives, or you're going to have problems down the line. You need to do it, because if you don't, when it breaks, they'll just say, well, it's out of warranty now, so you're going to have to pay all this money, right? This is why you need to understand about your automatic transmission. And speaking of transmissions, what are you going to do with your car? This. It's a six speed. This thing, believe it or not, can easily tow over 3,000 pounds. Seen people tow that, go cross country, no problems at all. Yesterday, I had a guy bring me a Subaru, right? It was a Subaru Crosstrek. It had a CVT transmission. And I said to him, are you gonna tow anything with it? He said, no, I'm never gonna tow anything. In his case, he didn't care. He was not a race driver. He said, I like the smooth CVT. It didn't have great acceleration. It was a non-turbocharged, non-GDI Subaru. So it didn't have all that much horsepower, it ran perfectly fine. He didn't care all that much, but I did tell him, I said, you know, that Subaru isn't gonna last as long as this RAV4, because the RAV4 was sitting here all week. A guy went on vacation and left it here. So I said, why did you buy the Subaru instead of the RAV4? To which he responded, well, Scotty, I tried the RAV4s, I love them, but I don't have the $15,000 extra that the RAV4 cost versus the Subaru that he bought. So of course, money rears its ugly head. <laughs> We live in a world where you gotta pay for things, right? Now, I like Toyota Corollas, right? But, they almost all with CVTs in them now. The Camrys, the RAV4s, they still have regular automatic transmissions. If I was to get a car, if somebody ran into one of my cars, they'll never wear out, because they're Toyotas and Lexus, but people drive like lunatics these days. I got so many people bring me cars that I said, why'd you get that car? Well, I love my old Honda, I love my old Toyota, but we got T-bone, we got rear-ended. There's so many lunatics out there that don't know how to drive, right? So if I was gonna replace it, I would probably buy like the new eight-speed Camry, gasoline engine, with an eight-speed automatic. I'd kind of be shying away from the Toyota Corollas, even though they're great cars, because I am not a CVT fan. Now, those are newer Toyota CVTs, and I haven't seen any real problems with them, but I really just don't like the way that they ride. That's why people like the gears that shift, and that's why some CVTs have fake gear shifts programmed in. When a tranny doesn't have any actual gears, it's just kind of a computer illusion that makes it feel like you're driving it automatic with gears when you actually aren't. This is an all-wheel drive. Should you get one or should you not get one? They cost more, you're gonna get worse gas mods because there's more friction, and understand this if you're cheapskate like me, these all-wheel drive systems are all computer driven. You get one bad tire, all-wheel drive systems have to have the same exact size tire on each wheel, including how worn down is the tread, because all kinds of measurements are done by the computers to make them work right. If you have different size tires, different treads and everything, you can wear the internal. So every time you get a bad tire on one of these babies, time to buy four of them, and I'm a cheapskate, I hate doing that. If you put snow tires on that 07 Matrix on the front, because it's front wheel drive, and you don't put snow tires on this all wheel drive or F4, the Matrix will drive better in the snow, because it's got snow tires pulling it around. And even though this is all wheel drive, you still gotta put snow tires on it if you wanna get good driving. It's not, oh, all wheel drive, jump in and drive. So let's take this RAV4 for a spin and see how it works. Now this Toyota is a marvel of six speed engineering. You can put it in automatic or you can put it into a mode where you can shift it yourself. As you see now, we're in first gear, and if you want, you can push it up, shift it into second gear, and you can see it's pretty seamless. Now, most people are lazy, and they're just going to put it in drive, and it'll be in drive the whole time, shift itself. It's a computer program to get the best gas mileage and power, but if you want more power, you can do it manually. We'll step on the gas. You can see it downshifted good, smooth shifts. People like these automatics because they still get pretty good gas mileage because it's six speed, but they also have the responsiveness. They're not the lag of a lot of CVTs. You step on the gas, they downshift and look at that zip. A CVT would not accelerate like that. And let's face it, people get used to something they like driving it way. Just like, okay, you look at the speedometer. It looks like an analog speedometer, right? As you drive down the road, you see the speedometer starts moving. But in fact, it's actually a digital odometer that gets a digital signal, then it goes to the speedometer head where there's an electric motor that then moves it. It's no longer mechanical, but it looks like it is. And that's one reason some of the CVT transmissions are programmed to mimic shifts, even though they're actually not shifting because they don't have any gears inside them. So you get a regular six-speed automatic like this RAV4 has. 
let me tell you it's a smooth driving experience they get good gas mods for their size and they tend to last basically forever if you just change the fluid every 50,000 miles or so so now hopefully you've learned a bit about transmissions so you can buy the right vehicle and maintain it correctly so you don't buy the car that has the wrong transmission for both your driving habits and your wallet so if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos remember to ring that bell